What is going on today, guys? We are back for another episode in Miss Survival. Now, we got Scotty cracking away on making ourselves some gears and some arrowheads now. I need the gears so I can upgrade the workbench now. Also, I had him doing a little bit of tree, chop uh, tree chopping. And I learned one thing. With the logs on the ground right here, if you set him to pick up logs, he will pick these up and then come right back to you. So... I'm just having him leave the logs lay on the ground. I'll show you. He's done a couple trees back here, but uh, not too many right now. I wanted him more focused on uh, making the gears and stuff because we want to get that workbench upgraded and we want to get that done right away so we can start repairing guns, especially if we get ourselves a broken hunting rifle or something along that lines. But anyway, I, I installed this little gate system right here. Uh, to keep him inside at night. I don't want to hear him shooting a million times at the night zombies. So I just figured uh, sealing that off, putting the uh, suitcase in front of it is best. Then it, if anything, uh, good lord, I can't even talk, tripping over my tongue. Uh, then if nothing else, he can come out to here and if any of the night zombies are out and about, he can actually just shoot them from right here. So they'll come up to the gate. He can shoot at them. I was doing a little bit of a, uh, trying to farm them that way with the spear. But only one came in. I killed a couple like outside the windows. But none of them even had anything on them. So I was a little bit disappointed about that. But anyway. Um, like I said I got him working. And he's going to be getting some stuff done. So today we're going to head down to the oil derrick and try to kill ourselves that sniper bandit. Now we got a ways left to go on being able to get our bow. So as you can see, these are only at 90%. And these other ones are at 13. This hide is already a third of the way done. So about the time those guts get done, this first piece of hide will be ready. So then we can make ourselves the quiver right away as well. But anyway... One thing I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to move this thing over here. And then we have ourselves a little uh, spot to park our truck. Because once we get this all made up, the truck's not going to be able to go in there anymore. So, I don't know. Might as well use the parking spot, I guess. But anyway, let's head on out. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm super excited to get myself that hunting rifle. Uh, that is like my most... Uh, that's the gun I look forward to the most. Now, I know it's probably not likely, but if the developer uh, put in like a like a scope or like a red dot mod to put on the M4, oh my god, that would be absolutely fantastic. Then that would probably be my favorite gun. I'm just I'm just no good with the irons. I really am not, and I'll admit it. Uh, I can admit that any day of the week I am terrible with irons the revolver I do pretty decent with but overall iron sights in me just are bad they really are even in real life I struggle with irons pretty bad now give me a sight and I can hit just about anything for for you but me and irons no 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 but anyway from as what I remember we got to come down here and we got to pull up as close as we can. Well, relatively. Stay along this left side so he can't shoot us. And we can use that building as cover right there. So we'll park whoa, right about like here, I believe. And then we can get out without him being able to shoot at us. So now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to save. Because you always save. And then there should be a couple... That room around the area here, like inside the fencing and stuff that we got to kill first. Yep, see there's one, two. All right. So once one of them comes around into a good spot for us, we're going to take him out. And then we will take the sniper bandit out last. Now I don't see where this guy went, but I'm pretty sure... Okay, so he's not going to patrol in a good spot for us. We might actually have to go up to the fence and, like, peek the corner and shoot him. But, actually, this guy might come to us here. So let's use the tree for a little bit of cover. Actually, let's just stand out here like this. Well, you're not going to come all the way, are you? Oh, now he is. Of course. What are you doing? 
You mind coming out from that truck and stopping? Stop. That was like the quickest stop and go that I've ever freaking seen. Um, let's... Oh, nice stutter. That first shot, man, it always stutters. I pulled the trigger and I had like a two second delay. I'm not even kidding you. I pulled the trigger and it just nothing. So, I'm not sure what's up with that, but... Oh, he's right there. Alright, we're gonna need them four for this. Normally I'd use the bow and I'd and I'd just uh get a nice get a nice shot on him with like a hunting arrow or something, but we're gonna let him do what he's doing and then we're just gonna peek the fence here. So zoom in and then you just peek around the corner like that. So he's kinda kind of already eyeballing us. I didn't get a good lean that I wanted. There we go. Only took four shots. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's horrible. But we just we just won't comment about that. Um, but yeah, let's loot these guys up first, and then we'll go see what what he had. I don't see any weapons on the ground. We can take the spear and give them a little pokey poke and see if they move off of any gun or anything like that but yeah nada so that's all right not a big deal the only gun we're interested in is the one that he has so that should be it for bandits if not well we'll find out shortly and there it is all right so broken hunt hunting rifle that's absolutely fantastic and he even gives us some ammo and a little bit of food so all right, let's check around up here. A blueberry, no thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely, absolutely thrilled that we got this because now we can get that put together. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you, what you all need to put that together, but hopefully we we do have that one weapon part, and Scott's working on getting us the gears. So hopefully we have everything we need. If we don't. Uh, it's not going to be a big deal. I mean, we'll find we'll find the other stuff eventually. It's pro if we need like more weapons parts, I'm assuming you just got to like farm the bandits to get them. Um, I don't know if there's a way to craft the weapon parts. I'm I would assume not, but I guess we'll find out together here in a little bit. Most of you guys that play this game probably already know, but for me, I do not. Uh, I thought there always used to be an engine that sat there. Huh. I was actually kind of looking forward to getting a spare engine. And nothing over here, nothing back here even. Wow. Must have changed up the loot spawns. Yeah, there used to be an engine here. As far as I remember. But that's alright. I mean, we'll we'll be breaking down a lot of vehicles now because we got that sledgehammer, so. Huh. Yeah, I don't see anything. That's odd. Must have got rid of that spawn a bit. But anyway, uh, now you guys told me that the new mine should be down over here. I'm assuming it's up there. Or maybe it's down further there. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Um, I'm assuming you can't drive through here. Oh, yeah. We can squeeze through there. Oh, yeah. We can squeeze right on through there. So we're going to take the truck here in just a minute. Make sure we didn't miss too much. Um, we got what we came here for, so... Honestly, missing a little bit of stuff would not be too big of a deal for me. Um, I'm happy just getting that gun broken or working. You know, either way, it's fantastic. We finally got that. So we're going to hop in the truck now. And we're going to save it first because we have all seen what happens when you drive this truck. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of, it's a bit too funky at some times. But anyway, we're going to pull right on through there with the truck and... Pray for the best, I guess. And I did not bring my pick. I did not bring it. I just wanted to check it out this time and just take a little bit of a look at it and see what the mine looks like. Uh, I don't plan on trying to kill the berserker or anything like that. I just wanted to take a little bit of a look at it and see what we got in here for later trips. 
but not back here. Must be along the road then. All right, well, we're going off-roading, I guess. Oh, there we go. I thought we were going over there for a minute. You know, I still haven't made my jack. I got to remember to do that. Because that's going to that's gonna be a problem one of these times. I'm going to forget to save, and then my truck's going to go belly up. And, yeah, that's going to be no good. So, maybe up there. I'm not sure. Let's go down this way first. This is kind of neat. I kind of like this little bit of an expansion here. Um. Yeah, I, I honestly have no idea where I'm going in here, so just bear with me on this. This is all unchartered territory. Looks pretty neat, though. Kind of liking it. I'm assuming he's going to be adding more to it, like off on the sides, maybe, and like adding some buildings, maybe more bandit camps kind of thing. But all in all, this looks pretty good so far. I like the looks of this. Now we just got to find this mine. Oh, well, this goes a long ways, too. Okay, so this must be the mine. Let us park it, and we're going to go on foot from here. I don't like seeing that. That's That's a scary sign. This looks pretty neat though down here. I gotta say, this is definitely well designed for sure by the looks of it. I'm I'm really liking the looks of this. Let's see what else we got on over here. Who we got? We have an old fuse. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Not sure what we're going to need that for, but I guess we will find out. Let's head on in now. Let's actually save before we go in, because if the berserker's loose in here, we might die. I don't know how tough he is. I know before it took a lot of arrows to kill him, so just head on in and see what we can find, shall we? That's... Whoa, okay. Damn. That's not a good sign right there. I don't don't like that too much. I'll try not to scream too loud. Something happens. Wow, this is dark as hell. Holy crap. We might have to build like some kind of lighting down through here. Okay, so these must that's not the nodes. Where are the nodes? Huh. Oh. I don't know. This is really dark, so I apologize about that. We're going to have to build some kind of lighting for down in here, because wow. But this is really neat looking. Scary as hell with it being dark like this, but all in all, it is pretty neat. I will not deny that. You know, maybe we ought to switch to the big boy gun, just in case something comes like huffing it at us. We at least will have a chance to to mow them down. Do anything with this? Does not look like it. Damn, I was hoping I'd be able to like, turn some lights on or something. Okay, that goes down. I think we'll wait on that for a minute. Okay, that's actually both goes down. Okay, well. Down we go. Okay, so now we start seeing some uh, sulfur, sulfur nodes. And that's saltpeter. So these are what you need to make gunpowder. And then of course we got the normal normal nodes there. That's something to pick up. It was. It's a gear. Awesome. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Ooh, no kidding. Holy crap. I'm going to have to keep my eye out a little bit better. Hmm. 
It looks like there's lights set up down here. I wonder if there's a way to, like, turn them on. Oh, I do not like this. I remember you had to crouch under something to get to the berserker last time, so... If he comes running at us, we might scream. Try not to, but... Might scream like a girl. No, not really, but... God, this is neat. I... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that scared the hell out of me. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I didn't scream, but I like... <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, yeah. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy. You guys are probably going to be laughing your ass off at that, but holy crap, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, wow. So we got a hard hat. Can we mount a light on that, I wonder? You'd think you'd be able to. Can you? That doesn't seem like you can put anything on it from there, but... Yeah, that scared the shit out of me. Uh, I'm not going to deny that. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that. That was... Holy crap. So, yeah, I apologize for that, but good Lord. About had a heart attack. That, that really scared me. Holy crap. All right, so... There's nothing we can do with this here? Oh, wait. Lever required. Lever required. Okay. Huh. Interesting. That looks like a place where the fuse should go, though. Whoops. Okay, yeah, that... Can't see without the light on. Um. Oh, wait. What's this? Medium lever. Okay, so it was that easy to get the lights on in here. No kidding. So what else do we do with this? And do we got to, like, fuel it up or something here? Turn that off now. Oh, that's actually too dark yet. We actually got to... Anywhere we got to, like, fuel this sucker from, or what? I'm not sure, but... That's a lot better with the lights on now. Let's actually check this out again. wonder if the lights are down in the berserker room. This time I won't, like, flip out when he... comes shrieking at me, but good lord. Okay, so no, the lights only go this far. Well, that's actually okay, though, because... Well... Not really. I mean, it would be nice to have lights down here to be able to see this guy. I'm not going back in there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going back in there. I'm not going to jump like a little girl again because, yeah, that was, that was, yeah. Yeah, just not going to, not going to say anything about that. Not going to say anything about that. So... Yeah, I really wonder if there's a way we got to, like, refuel this thing or what. Can we climb this? Oh, we can actually go through it. Okay, that's interesting. All right, I'm going to shut this squeaky sucker off because I'm not exactly sure what to do with it yet. Um, we'll, fi we'll figure it out, though. Um, where am I going? Here I am. So, I'm sure one of you guys will let me know in the comment section down below if i got to fuel that sucker or... Uh, or what the deal is with that, but, yeah, and I'm sure you guys will get one hell of a chuckle out of me jumping from that berserker, because, yeah, I'm not going to deny it, that, that surprised the hell out of me, him just shrieking like that, that was, I bet you that was funny as hell to watch, though, I, I will bet that.
But, yeah, this place is pretty neat. We'll definitely have to be coming back down here with the, with the pick. Because we are going to need stuff to start making gunpowder. Um, that's coming very soon. But, let us save this up. And I kind of want to check out what's on that road back there, so... I think more than anything, this video is going to be... Uh, mostly exploration and... You know, just checking out this new area. Because this is cool. I won't, I won't deny it. This is a really neat... Neat area now. I don't like how dark the mine is down there where the berserker is, though. And I wonder how hard he's going to be to kill. So, we'll have to check that out at some point. Not right away. Probably going to want more ammo for that. And... Going to want to... Going to want the bow, too. Just in case. I definitely want the bow right away. Right away. Alright, where is this road that I saw? I was pretty sure I saw a road, like, right up here on the left. this it? Aha. Wait. Yeah. I think so. Hmm. Wonder what is up here. What is this? Huh. This is cool. Very cool. This could be a good spot to like build one of them big shelters on. That's cool as hell. But the road continues up that way. So let's keep checking that out here. Then we'll... We'll get back home and see if we can't repair up this hunting rifle. What is this? Just end? Huh. That's... that's odd. Or has that become like a footpath, I wonder? I don't know. We got to check it out. I'm curious. I got to know. Whoops. I got to know. Doesn't look like it's really a footpath, but we're going to make it one. That's cool. Very cool. I'm I'm assuming he's got future plans for something up here. Oh. Interesting. Huh. I did not realize there was a train track that come through over here, but as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure there isn't. And where did we park? Okay, we parked there. The train track would... Yeah, I don't... There was no train track along the road, huh? We'll have to check that out sometime for sure. Um, can we get down here without killing ourselves? We're going to try. Oh, easy does it. Come on. Shouldn't be too much of a fall. There we go. Yeah, this, this new part of the map is definitely something I just kind of want to come come and check out sometime like 
on foot just come up around here and just walk through and have a look because that's pretty neat but anyway we got to get back and apologize for the cat in the background uh, but we got to get back and see if we can't make ourselves this hunting rifle and fix it up be nice if you could see over the hood a little bit when you're coming down a hill like that if we can get this hunting rifle going uh, we're probably going to be doing some sulfur and saltpeter mining off camera I'll probably go back to the mine off camera I'm sure you guys don't want to see like a long video of me just just mining that stuff over and over again but yeah there's a lot of other places for us to go yet um, we have the big bandit camp up on the hill um, we do have the other bandit camp over that way and then we got the big city up along there as well so lots of stuff to do yet that's for sure and we still got to come back this way and loot around in here because we didn't do that yet but that's something we will get to I'm not too worried about the loot at the moment um, I actually kind of want to stop and check out this gas station because I remember there used to be a bow here once upon a time or wait, was the bow here or was the bow up where that thing is? I don't know, we're not going to really loot this place, but I kind of want to get out and just check. Because if, if we could find a bow, that would be awesome. Again, apologize for the cat if you guys can hear her. Ooh, that's a lot of nice stuff. I'm actually going to take that, though. Um, Don't really want to loot this place. I'm just kind of... Just kind of searching to see if we can, if there is a bow. It's really all I'm all I'm looking for. What is that? Hard stick. Okay. Okay. So maybe I'm mistaken. I just wanted to check, though. I just wanted to see. Uh, we will come back and actually loot this place. But ooh, what's in here? I gotta know. Oops, some booze. Gotta have the booze. Can't leave the booze behind. But yeah, we'll come back and loot this place up. Uh, maybe the next episode we'll come back and loot this area now that we got the the hunting rifle, the broken hunting rifle, rather. But let's get back to base. I wanna I wanna check out the uh, seeing what it's gonna take to fix that sucker up. Woo. And we're going to see how Scott's doing on all our gears and stuff. Maybe we can actually, maybe we'll actually be able to get the, the workbench upgraded here. We should be able to. Um, we should have that done by now. I think I started him on the gears first. I think I was smart enough to start him on gears before arrowheads. Um, but I like the hunting arrows. The basic arrows are great for farming the Zs. And I like the hunting arrows for killing the bandits personally. And I know, with the basic arrow, yes, you can you can kill the bandit with the headshot. But I think with the hunting arrow, if, or at least it used to be, if you hit him wherever with the hunting arrow, you killed him. So, that's kind of the reason I wanted them. They do a lot more damage. They're uh, another thing I used to use for killing the bear. I just used the bow. But, um, looks like Scott's done. He's not over here. And no, he didn't finish it. Of course he didn't. Scott. What are you doing? Oh, he got himself stuck. Of course he did. Get to work. I was going to try to hop over the fence and... Uh, and fix it that way. Because sometimes if you push him backwards, or at least you used to... It kind of screw them up, or they, or they'd actually uh, uh, sh shut the thing again right away on you. But grab a couple of these, and we needed one of the component things. Which no, no, there it is. Let's grab them both for now. All right, let's get this sucker upgraded. One hour. Let's do it.
And touching max level. All right. So. Oh, really? All you need is components? Huh. I could have swore that piece we picked up was weapon parts, though. I actually got to check that out now, because I was pretty sure that was broken weapon parts. Weapon part. Yeah, weapon part. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually, but we need some components now. I actually have another stack on me already. All right, let's do this up. Broken pistol. That must be what the weapon part is because it looks the same. So. All right. Um, hunting rifle takes zero minutes. And it's done. Oh, sweet. All right. Well, we got ourselves that. That's excellent. I will definitely be using this a lot now. That means we need to get ourselves some ammo. Which is right here. Just like so. And let's load this puppy up. Awesome. That is fantastic. Now, the bandits are in big trouble. Big trouble. So, yeah. That's great. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to say to that mine. That mine was just, I don't know, that was fantastic looking. I'm really, really impressed with that new section of the map. Glad he did something like that. Uh, we're going to have to figure out what to do about lighting down there for the Berserker. Because I don't think the flashlight's going to cut it. So, we'll have to see about that. Uh, we'll, we'll also have to go and get ourselves some stuff to make gunpowder. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that on camera. Maybe we'll go loot that area all the way down to there. And end the episode with doing a little bit of mining for the sulfur and saltpeter. Because we're going to want a lot of these shells because I will be using this gun a lot now and once we get the bow the bow in tandem with this is going to be like my main combination so yeah I think that's going to do it for us this episode guys I hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah we got Scott working again hopefully he stays working this time finishes that stuff up for us but all in all I'm enjoying this game a lot I love the looks of that new area can't wait to see what else is new uh figure out the quest at the motel there eventually um figure out how to kill the berserker lots of stuff yet to do we got two more survivors to find and rescue not sure who's gonna be where but there should be one in the big bandit camp and there should be one on that road that heads over towards the big city so we got those two yet to rescue at least i think that's where they're at uh, the big, the big bandit base is like up the hill over that way. That's going to be, that's going to be a while before we get to that. I want to have the bow. I want to have plenty of ammo for this as well as my other weapons. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of work to do and we're in no hurry to get there. So Thank you guys so much for being here. I really, like I said, I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you guys are enjoying them, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Comment down below. Um, is there a way to, to A, put a light on that mining helmet or hard hat, or B, light up the area to the berserker? Also, do I need fuel to run that generator thing down there in that mine? A couple things I want to know there. So let me know in the comment section down below on that. And as always, guys, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel and trigger those notification bells so you guys never miss a video. So thank you guys again so much for being here, and we will catch you guys for the next episode.